This year's World Oceans Day message from CCMI is a little different. For this year, we can celebrate with a little optimism and hope. Once a year, we ask you to look a little closer at the oceans, the water that makes us the blue planet of the universe, and to come with us beneath the surface, to see the living, breathing mass of species here, the cradle of life on Earth. And once you see it, it isn't difficult to appreciate the abundance and diversity of life here. It may be harder to understand how fragile these ecosystems are, and it may be even harder to believe that you can help to protect them. Yet our planet and future generations depend upon us to take action today to protect our oceans for tomorrow. Now this film, as you will see, shows that there is always room for a bit of optimism and hope. In 2020, the world changed. We have changed. The ocean is quiet and the silence has brought a new hope for the future. Around little Cayman in the Caribbean Sea, we are seeing enormous hope for a healthy ocean. With hammerhead sharks, schools of stoplight pirate fish, eagle rays surfacing, and sea turtles popping up every way we look in our lagoons at Little Cayman Island in the Caribbean Sea. For World Oceans Day, the Central Caribbean Marine Institute hopes you contemplate a different takeaway from the global pandemic. Greenhouse gases and earth warming carbon dioxide levels have plummeted, proving we can indeed create powerful change. This World Oceans Day is the ideal time to take stock. For over 30 years, our global institutions like the UN have been warning us all that our global health has been at risk via the degradation of our environment. We need healthy reefs for a healthy planet. But the ocean is on fire and reefs are on the brink of extinction as rising temperatures are killing corals at an unprecedented speed. Yet, globally, we have shown that we can reduce our impact on the oceans. Let's stop the ocean crisis by making individually renewed commitments to sustained lifestyles. Let's not back off the marine enforcement by extending marine protection zones and fishing sustainably, we can turn hope into action. CCMI has been monitoring the state of the reefs in Little Cayman every year since 1999. Our results indicate that while the reefs in Little Cayman are not immune to the impacts of local and global change, they have remained stable over time and appear to be more resilient than other Caribbean reef systems. CCMI's restoration and adaptive evolution research efforts examine the features that enable corals to persist through time, despite changing conditions. 
Using this research, we are identifying more robust and resilient corals that will constitute the future of our reefs, bolstering the wild reef population and creating a sustainable future for these key species. Overall, our investigations and discoveries show that through continued protection and guided research, we can protect our coral reefs for future generations, proving that there is hope. We're excited to announce Mission Blue, the Sylvia Earle Alliance has designated Little Cayman as a hope spot. Little Cayman represents a rare tropical island rich in biodiversity. We have one of the last remaining Nassau grouper aggregation sites. Each year, thousands of fish spawn. Green, hawksbill, and loggerhead turtles are abundant and nest on our beaches. We have seven species of shark, the largest population of red-footed boobies in the Western Hemisphere, and our own endemic rock iguana. Celebrating Little Cayman as a hope spot isn't just a local success, as this island represents a positive story and a glimmer of hope in a world where we have natural resources that are declining. We must protect the Earth's biodiversity, which is a key to a healthy planet. I'm Sylvia Earle. As founder of Mission Blue, I want to salute you, the champions of the Little Cayman Island Hope Spot, and thank you for what you're doing to really take care of the ocean that takes care of all of us. So, Central Caribbean Marine Institute, the Department of Environment in the Cayman Islands, and other constituents who are supporting the concept of a hope spot there. I'm not alone in wishing to thank you. I think the creatures who live in the Cayman Islands, around Little Cayman in particular, are saluting you. The coral reefs are prospering in ways that are not happening elsewhere. Protection works, you get it, and I thank you. I think the world thanks you, but certainly the creatures of the sea Thank you for doing what you're doing to make this place a cause, a reason for hope. Thank you.